and uh, getting ready to go to Iraq. Uh, and I guess you all brought some letters, too. We did. Everybody wrote a letter they'd like you to deliver. Oh, well, thank you. If you yeah. want to put that in the mailbox, okay. that would be, uh, we'd really appreciate that. It'll be, uh, oh, my gosh. Put the flag up. Yeah, sure. Long enough. Uh, in there. <laughs> yeah. What's that? It's going to cause us more problems than good. They're going to retaliate against us. Yeah, yeah. I think it's a long time coming. You can't let Osama run wild and get away with it. But, you know, you guys are on the right path. You can't sit there and say the war is over. It's not like killing Hitler or anybody else. Uh, we had a gentleman on who worked at the CIA who actually said that Osama is a unique guy because he designed his whole military operation to actually move on and get better after his death. So. See, I agree with you. Like, I was like, when I heard it, I wanted to know, like, what would you do if you had, like, a leader for that long, like, that many years, like, all of a sudden he was shot dead? Like, what would you do? Like, I would freak out, and I would go after the person who would kill him. Like, I think it's just going to cause more problems. Well, yeah, and you look at, uh, you know, what we've heard, they want to be martyred. They want to, to die, and we've given them his wish. Yeah. You know, so they're very sea, so they can't make a yeah. They've been prepared. For this day to come. We heard the motto of the Navy SEALs: "The only easy day was yesterday," and that's just something that you should all remember. There is no, there are no easy days. See, it's that English thing. Is our study your English, folks? But anyway, anybody else have any questions? Or yes, ma'am, you, the Boston Bruins fan. <laughs> <laughs> um, I teach career, so I, you just addressed the fact that. Um, this was your dream, mm -hmm. and that this being in radio was your dream in high school? <coughs> this is the only thing I ever wanted to do in life. I really? was a school teacher and taught for about a year and a half, and that's why I have such incredible respect for teachers, because they're so underappreciated. Uh, they're vilified in the press, but until you go into a classroom and hold people's attention and inspire them to learn, then you can't comment on being a teacher, in my opinion. And I didn't have the texting, the Twitter, the cell phones, or even, yeah, there was some cable television, but it was black and white. There was no black and white cable television. But uh, getting back to your dream, you know, I, I had people telling me, you're never going to be in radio. Who cares what you think? I have a lot of people tell me, who cares what you think now? But if I can do it, and I've been on the Fox News channel, I've been on CNN, I've been on headline news, and it's not about me, it's about... If I can do it, no matter what, you can do it. Just through sheer perseverance and hustle and a belief in yourself and having people around you that believe in you. Have people that make you better. Have people that say, you're going to make it. You know, people can, are, it's very easy to be a critic. It's not so easy to be a supporter. And if I can impart one thing for you for the rest of your life, it's that you determine your success.